Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. This is my friend. Oh, hi. I'm Caitlin. <laughs> uh God, I uh I'm playing Divinity 2 Original Sin. Uh Katie got this for me for Christmas uh, a couple of months yes. ago. Uh I was assured yeah. of its quality and I just finished a big ass RPG, so uh multiple player. Yes, oh multiple player. I guess I should let this game communicate over Wi Fi. Well, probably likely, yeah. Yeah. I just Unless gotta, you're using Ethernet. Yeah, I just got a McAfee uh, <laughs> uh, alert. Oh, and it was like, alert. hold the fuck on. Did you just try to connect to the internet? <laughs> I guess I'll set this to story mode. And I'll make it friends only, and that should be it. Um, yeah, that should be perfect. Okay. So yeah, I've never booted this game up. I didn't even... I kind of intended to just start it just to look at the uh, character creator. Uh, and I didn't even do that. I can understand that. I have a character pretty much like ready to be made. Cool. And I'm going to run out of limb here and guess that you, Caitlin, made a mage of some kind. Um, yeah, pretty much. So, I talked with Alfred a little bit before we did this, and I have a feeling that Alfred is going to play something like, um, a paladin or, like, a ranger. Is this true? Yes. Okay. So, because of that, yeah, I've pretty much made a, a pretty standard mage. Um, I think I'm going to go with like a summoner kind of build. Cool. How crazy does the summoning get in this game? Is it like Diablo 2 levels? Um, it's not that crazy. Okay, that well, makes sense. I got um, it. Game is open, by the way. You can join if you can. Okay. I'm just turning all my mods off. I've just realized that <laughs> that might conflict. I'm going to um, load in. I'm going to see a bunch of anime characters with huge knockers. <laughs> Not quite. I'm going to load in and I'm going to see a bunch of anime characters with huge dicks. Sure. Let's go with that one. Okay, all of these. Alfred from the back. Here, let me see if I can join maybe. We're friends on Steam, right? We are. I realized earlier today, I was going to ask you if you wanted to, like, share your fucking socials so people can go friend you if they like you. And, um, like, I don't have any socials. <laughs> and I realized that, like, of the, like, social medias you use, all of them are pretty marginal for what could even be defined as social media. And I realized that I don't follow you on any of those, even though I know you in real life. Yeah, I mean, like, if you want to look up my Reddit account. <laughs> if I'm looking at your like, Reddit account, something's gone wrong, I think. Yeah, I think that, yeah, I, I think that we should, we would be best to just leave my socials out of this. Don't shit where you eat, you know? I'm not going to follow <laughs> you on Reddit. Right. Um, <laughs> I'm still not seeing you. Do you mind just, like, inviting me? Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Okay, perfect. All right, we're back in. Um, so you suggested classic difficulty? Yes. Or, like, a higher or lower difficulty? Uh, just normal is fine. I usually go for normal on most of my LPs. Okay, perfect. So, so that would be classic mode. Cool. And this little X it's next to the ready, or not ready, if I click that, it won't kick me out of the game, yes? It will not kick you out of the game. If it does, I will reinvite you. Okay. okay. Cool. Looks like we're ready. I I just I see an X, I see a lobby, and that makes me think, oh, get out of the lobby. Did you see that they just dropped the uh, PC specs for Elden Ring? No, I did not. Oh man. 
I will I will say that I've not really paid much attention to the PC stuff since I am getting it on PS4. Character creation. I understood what character creation is, I assure you. Origin. Sh C yes, so... Seville. Yeah. Origin characters have a personal background. Oh. That's my wife. Yeah, so yeah. Oh man, you can just be a skeleton. That's pretty rad. Yeah, so how character creation works is there's a bunch of different characters that are actual characters in the game that have established backgrounds that are um, major characters if you don't pick them. And then there's a bunch of like default races that you can be. Um, there's humans, dwarves, elves, and lizards. And you can be you can be an undead version of any of those four races. Interesting. And they're just called lizards. They're not called like Scathracus. I believe they're just called lizards, though. I, I think that they have. So they're like. They're very Aztec coded. Oh, that makes sense. Um, and so they're they're kind of like if the people in the old world had just learned what an Aztec was. Um, that's about how much information that they have about these lizard people. Yeah. I have memory and wits as well. I imagine one of those is like a miracle stat. Um, so there are no like... There's no, like, faith-based casting in this game. Mm. Um, there's the water casting is, like, the, the healing, like, tree. Okay. Um, but basically, wits affects your critical chance. Ah. Um, it's kind of like wisdom, where you can, like, detect traps with it as well. Yeah. Um, and then intelligence is like your magic damage okay and then there's a memory stat which is how many skills you can have all at the same time oh almost like attunement kind of like yeah like an attunement i really love all my skeleton customization options it's really more than i would have expected i, I can i can see you scrolling through the different like you can put a hair on a skeleton colors of color yeah yeah or skin colors of bone <laughs> my bone shades i hear some awful guttural sound in the distance i think my cats are puking oof Oh, that's silly. So we've got Knight Inquisitor. The Fodder. Yeah, there's a lot of different. Chanter. Conjurer. Clerk. Battle Mage. Wizard. Witch. Wayfarer. Shadowblade. Rogue. Metamorph. Oh, um, that so that that brings to an interesting um, mechanic in this game is that you can self polymorph. Mm hmm. And that's like a, a big part of the of the combat is like turning yourself into like an actual ram and like ramming through people that makes sense um so that's what a metamorph does 
You can also you can also um, polymorph other people. Interesting. It's a little bit of that in uh, Dragon Age, which I think is the last like thing. It's the closest thing to a CRPG I played in a while. Mm -hmm. Civil abilities are non-combat abilities. They're just called civil abilities. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Um, the most powerful combat ability in the game is a civil ability. It's telekinesis. Makes sense. Because you can put, like, a bunch of, like, bags of flour into a big chest, and you can just drop it on people's heads. I would recommend not doing that for a first playthrough. Yeah. But it is fun. Oh, whoa. Is there a way to not have a, like, origin character? Um, like a pre-made character? No, just, like, for me to start from total scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just keep scrolling through the backgrounds. Oh. And eventually you'll you'll reach custom characters. I see. Yeah, I believe that that's a, that should be a custom L. Okay. Here we go. And you can rename yourself as well. I specifically did not pick Elf because I figured that you would make your own Elf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I get Flesh Sacrifice and Dome of Protection. Flesh Sacrifice is kind of broken. There's a thing I was going to talk to you about. <laughs> yes. Oh, did you see that Netflix just fucking dropped uh, the Bioshock movie? No. They're making a Bioshock movie. That's kind of cool. I hope it's good. I hope it's good, too. I don't necessarily believe it will be good. Me either. I think that's prudent of us. <laughs> but I do hope that it will be. Prepare yourself. Nice try. Glory is mine. Yeah, I want to have a really annoying voice. Make my creative character fruity and pathetic, thank you. Oh my god. I just picked the most attractive voice, typically. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm Man. kind of a sim. What, for your own characters? Of course. They're supposed to be you, though. Yeah, there's a problem with being a lesbian. <laughs> the inherent situational narcissism of being sapphic? Yeah, exactly. Do I want to be this woman or do I want to fuck this woman? It's a very, very old Jenna Marbles quote about that. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. I don't think I can get away from this, like, bitchin' abyssal sword. It looks like okay, it, it, it so, looks it looks like it just got stuck in a pile of sap and then came out with a bunch of spikes on it. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea to me. So which um which build are you going with? I am going to have uh Elvin uh a knight. 
Elven Knight, okay. And I'm gonna drop my con and up, or I'm gonna drop my strength and up my con. Okay. Geomancer, okay. I'm gonna go with an Ood. Okay, and then I would look at your talents. Um, yeah. So I'm not sure if you want to play this way, but we did talk about... Oh, yeah, the thing a, for having a small party. For having a small party, exactly. So I'm not sure if you want to play um, as just the two of us. But How... I think that we can make it if we try. I think so, too. What is that thing called? It's called Lone Wolf. Oh, I see it. Uh, two AP, two recovery AP, vitality, armor, magic armor, and doubles points and attributes up to 40. Yeah, so the normal maximum is 20. Okay. I like it. I think I'm going to take that. So it just makes you twice as powerful. Yeah. Um, and then we can both... So since we're... You can have it, it as long as you have no more than one extra party member, basically. Yeah. So while it's just the two of us, while we have Lone Wolf, then um, it works out. And then whenever you're ready, I'll go ahead and click start game. I am ready. Okay. We are done with character collision. Now you're not set in stone with what you've got. Cool. You can change that stuff at any time. I'm pretty sure there's a free respec. Oh, word. Like as many times as you want free respec. It all happened like I knew it would. Ugh, stop showing this woman's hair, please. A single <laughs> drop of sauce. to honey the monsters swarmed the rebel panicked the carnage began and the magisters pointed their fingers at me is is were they incorrect Just to do so I okay depend. i was shackled and collared and sent to fort joy why well, they gotta make him look like clansmen <laughs> there's there's no good reason for that I mean you're right actually did you see those I, uh, actually noticed that. I, I know you don't give a shit about wow and you're correct to do that no one should but like did you see the recent uh, like fucking I think it's warlock armor no it's just white pointy hoods Oh, no. Like, I think there's probably supposed to be, like, a death mask or some armor plating that goes on over it. And, like, it's incomplete stuff, but, like, people just found a bunch of, like, files of, I think it's new warlock armor. And it's just really conspicuously pointy hoods. Oh, no. So, still a bit groggy, are we? Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. You know, like, I would assume that just calling a race that's a, you know, giant sapient race of lizard folk, I would assume that that was just like a slur, you know? Calling them lizards? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I think we can just walk around separately. I've got click walking. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I just went through this tutorial the other day okay. to like re-familiarize myself with this. So I'm going to let you do everything. Okay. So we can either skip the tutorial and go up this ladder, or we can go over here and start the tutorial on this like base deck. Cool.
word. That's one good way to do it. It'll take quite a few hits to do that, though. So what you can do is if you hold left click on a crate, you can actually move it around. Okay. And that'll let you through this door. An animal sty. Freight or food. Um, and then if you have something called Pet Pal, you can actually talk to this this sheep. It's a talent like Lone Wolf. Interesting. Her regular eyes like letter boxes to the void. Yeah, so you are you are allowed to to talk to animals in this game, but you do need a talent for it. And I see. If I pause the game, does it pause it for you as well? Are you paused right now? Yes. Then no. Okay. Character pain. I just have a box in my inventory. Did you expect a needle? Boo. I'm like, fre <laughs> I'm like fresh off of Disco Elysium, and so like I'm used to all the modern conveniences of like lockpicks. Uh, I'm used to all the like modern conveniences of being able to like hold down right click and and just see what I can click. Oh, on. Oh, and see everything that you can click on. Yeah. Um, if you hold down Alt, you can see all of the like loose items. Oh, cool. But I don't think there's anything that like highlights what you can click on. How unfortunate. Luckily, I just got these. So you got lockpicks, right? Yeah. I think I've just thrown them on the floor. So this... Oh, you just threw them on the floor? So if you right-click it, um, there is a pick lock option. Ah, I see. Um, but I'm not even sure. This lock can't be picked. Okay. So yeah. So there is... A, needle? a way to get through it. I figured, yeah, that looks like the critical path to the objective. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> you can just open it. Ah, I see. Yeah, so that vase is in the corner. Hidden behind these crates. Ah. I suppose they think that was clever. To read books, open your inventory and use the object. come to my attention several of you are bypassing the cargo hold security measures by sliding boxes onto the pressure plate this will not do thank you mm -hmm. um you can become over encumbered in this game okay cool um i'll let you have this this pocket knife if you right. want it uh, I mean, on the other hand, like, you might need it on account of your, uh, not strength. Well, but I can cast. Oh, so. you can cast now? Um, it looks like it, actually. Yeah, it does um, look like that. Have... So you have that box in your inventory? Ah, uh, yes. Up? I think that's, actually, I can take it out, I think. No, I cannot. Oops. 
Cool. So this is oil. And I notice that you have slowed above your head, as do I. Yeah, and this is an oil barrel. So when you stand in oil, you have to walk slower, otherwise you slip. Mm. You can actually choose to run faster. But... Okay. Um, and then you're still a little slick for a little bit. And then you can get in water to clean yourself off. Makes sense. Um, there's also, if you hit the X button... There's a little button that looks like a bush, and then you can sneak around. <laughs> and if you click on someone while you're sneaking, you can pick their pocket. That's silly. Sometimes you can fail. Oh shit! Now we're in a fight. Makes sense. Uh, action points. Your your turn ends when you <laughs> receive them. Okay. I'm gonna run away. Might be a good idea. I know that there's a long standing tradition of clearing the ground for the mages to do their work. I'm not one to let <laughs> dogs lie. Um, so we got a key and some gold. Cool. And that key is to this door up here. But there is a prisoner. I seize it. Well, it's not. It's not to this door. Oh. This this door can be opened with this lever right here. Okay. But you can talk to this guy through the bars if you want to talk. Ah uh, yes. Hey, get me out of this cage and I'll make it worth your while. Set me free. And I'll set you free. A fair trade, I should think. Can I have that knife? Since you do, in fact, have your magic. Um, yeah. Um, I think that you do have the knife. Or at least... Did you not pick it up? Okay. I see no knife in my pocket, I... yeah. Sorry, I didn't know. It's okay. I don't know how I... There we go. I just gave it to you. Word, thanks. Oh, here we go, in my hands. The prisoner's buoyant voice. Oh, you let him up. Oh, you let him free. free. Oh, nothing if not a man of my word. Oh, well. I was actually going to kill him anyway. I don't know if I've ever seen an NPC cast fireball on the ground before. Yeah. Pretty tactical. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Stand out of the fire. Uh, I think that's the end of my turn. Cool. Then this guy will attack. And is this thing fire aligned because uh, you summoned him in fire? Precisely that. Cool. Did you uh, stand in oil while on fire? I thought that might happen. Apparently you cannot. Word. Still burning. Um, and I don't think that there is a magic like a resource. I think you can just cast magic whenever you want. It just eats up your action points. It eats up your action points and your um and it has a cooldown. Makes sense. Ooze barrel, huh? I like that I'm just clipping through the fucking restraints. Why animate it? You know, why bother?
Oh, I didn't need to use that. Huh? Brian. No. And there's the tutorial. Right where I started. Uh, nowhere to go but up. We've Interesting. Killed two people. Word. I'm happy to hear that, in fact. <laughs> Um, if you go upstairs, does it take me with you, I wonder? I do not know. Why do you ask? Let's try it. I do not see it you. It does not. Um, I can still, I can stay and just walk around down here. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Why, you're looking a bit more chipper. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. Empty. No kidding. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. In the meantime, mm -hmm. your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have been hmm. registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officers' quarters. How... Irrevocably, will it fuck up the game's path if we just ice this person right now? Um, I don't think it fucks up anything actually at all. Would you like to ice this person? This attack prompt is looking real nice. I have an actual like ice alpha strike. strike. Well, if you want to ice, I I have icicles that fall from the sky. No, ice just means kill. I know. Okay. Then please be my guest. Okay, you might want to stand back just a little bit. There you go. Alexander, Damn. Patience. What? She just said stop it and didn't even. <laughs> Alexander, grant me patience. Didn't even fight back. All right. Well, now I'll take my turn to stab her. This is silly. Okay, now. No known associates. In fact, Oh, I don't have enough AP. Okay. Hold on, I can't. There we go. There you go. Cool. I'll need to write to headquarters right away. Radical. Okay. Did she have anything on her? I see nothing in her pockets. Okay. Probably for this exact reason. Because if they put, like, a um, shotgun in the pocket of the first NPC, then everyone's right. going to kill them. Um, you can read this book now, though, for free. Yes, we can now read this book without breaking the law. 
Source King insists there are no magics too foul, even those that would block or remove the source within an individual. A delight in his madness is an invitation to manipulate all which we believed immutable. He provides all manner of um, experimental suspects. And then there is uh, somebody trying to workshop their best guess for how to uh, keep magic slaves, I assume. Yeah. And eventually they came up with the collars that we're wearing. Yeah. The body's still warm. Yeah, so this is, uh... Yeah, you're not really supposed to touch it. But if you want me to distract him while you take some meat off its corpse... Is that a... I'm serious. Okay. Not a euphemism. And I'll I close can teach this... you something. Okay. Okay. Now, now sneak. Oh, well, what? Why'd they come in here? I don't know. Who, me? Well, let's talk our way out. Wait, <laughs> I what? Can... They're, they're, they're trying to shake me down, I think. Uh -oh. uh oh. Why? I don't know. I think we're fucked. That's okay. Here, stand to the side. Oh, well, it's too late now. Damn, I was really hoping that wouldn't hit you. That's okay. There you go. We might be able to win this. It's not likely. It's but possible. We might. Oh no. Ah uh, yes. Restoration. Thank you. And then. I'm going to healing potion myself. Um, take one step back. And then do this. <laughs> cool. And that should be good. Don't die, don't die, don't die. that that's my thing blow whoa it looks like his armor is still up i guess it's that little bar yeah that's the um the 12 out of 28 mm. that's physical armor and then the so it's almost like halo shields um uh, yeah that's interesting they have, um, certain people have, 
abilities that they can get their shields back. Yeah, I'm noticing they're using an ability that's literally called Shields Up. Yeah. They don't appear to have the same amount of magical armor, so... Maybe that's where we yeah, can make well, our, our uh, foothold. All of, my, all of my magic's on cooldown, though. Yeah. Okay, that hit me. That's okay. Oh, and just magic with Cadex almost. Oh, he's dead. Perfect. Nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. And then Waters has one health. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try doing that, and then I'm gonna walk over here. Okay. Actually, I guess I could also walk behind. Nice. And I'll walk this way. Yeah, all right. Okay. Oh, you have a magic armor potion. Yes, I found one. That's sick. I'm also going to walk all of them. And then... Hmm. It didn't really help. Yeah, not quite. Wait. Luckily, this incarnate is still here. Yeah. Ooh, nice. That's very lucky, yeah. Uh, what's her? She still has physical armor, so I can't use most of my things. I wish I could see your abilities. If you like, I could just screenshot this and send it to you. <laughs> No, it's okay. Oh, I can't even walk out here. My body blocking? Yeah, the two of you together. That's unfortunate. And you thought that we were just totally going to die. I am still not convinced that we're not. I'm feeling brave. <laughs> Let me try this. Battle stop. Hell yeah. Cool. Knockdown is like really important. Because it like eats up their movement, right? No, no, they're a whole turn. Oh, word. Um, can I kill you? Thank you. And then I'll just end my turn. It would make sense if my like- My incarnate will slap a bit. It would make sense if, like, leftover AP went into your shields. That's kind of a... That's an interesting idea. Cool. <laughs> Status effects. Dead. Permanent. <laughs> Who will weep for the Magisters? Not me. Anyway, you should um, pick up that piece of flesh. Chunk of flesh. Effects unknown. Word. Yeah. 
and then eat it. Elves can eat limbs to experience the memories. Oh, cool. Yeah. As the dead man's flesh slides down your throat, you feel his consciousness enter yours. His memories are yours to experience. You are Finn. Your heart is heavy. You know too much. It's all too much. You met, you met him. A bright light blinds you, then fades. You feel a tremendous power in your hands, but they are shaking so hard you can barely use them. Suddenly you're on this very ship, crouched in a corner, hugging your knees. A figure approaches, an older woman. Her eyes are kind. She comes closer. She says she wants to talk. She reaches a hand toward you. You grasp it. The memories end. You are no longer Finn. Interesting. And I got a new skill for that. Yeah. Adrenaline. Gain two points and lose two action points next turn. Any points over your maximum yeah. are lost. Interesting. That isn't that useful, but I can see it could have some uses. Um, it's useful, like... If you were, if you can kill somebody this turn, you know. Yeah. I usually... And then you, when you kill someone, you get back to AP as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I foresee myself like having a. Uh... Like I'm probably gonna have a lot of carry because I don't have big whammies that can kill in one turn. Yeah. So what should we do next? Well, we have to progress to the story. Um, I should heal myself though before we go any further because I feel like we're gonna have to kill a bunch of people. Assuredly. So if you try and go up these stairs, the hatch is blocked. And we'll need to find another way. The hatch is blocked. I'll right. Find another way. Word. So um, this is the only way that we can go. I'm going to close this door just so nobody... No, no survivors. Yeah, so this is where you um, can talk to all of the, like, origin characters and get to know them. Oh, these are party members. Yeah, so this is Sebel. Sebel is like a... Um, I remember reading that name. I was like, why is this, rogue, I think. Why is this person's name like a feminine version of Sebum? Right. Um, Sebel's kind of cool. Um, this is Ifan Ben Mezd. He's a crossbow guy. Oh, and yeah. A tracker. Saw him as well. I think he's also an assassin. Um, this is the Red Prince. The Red Prince is a warrior and also the haughtiest bitch that you'll ever meet. You'd end up a prison Word. Um, he's royalty and he knows it. And everyone um, this is Beast. Um, Beast is your wife. Yes. Um, this is Los over here. Cool. What you doing? Oh, I'm just standing here. Okay. I'm moving the camera around and, and following you with wads. Oh, gotcha. Um, Los is a, a singer, and she also is um, mostly possessed by a demon. Mostly. Mostly cool. possessed. Have you played Dragon Age 2? Um, I have not played Dragon Age 2. It's my favorite Dragon Age, which is possibly the most controversial opinion I hold. Mm. You hold a lot of controversial opinions. Yeah, I know, right? It's practically my thing. It's true. And this is Fane. I recognize him. Um, you shouldn't recognize him as he is here. Um, yeah, he looks fucked remember. up, actually. Yeah, but if you'll remember, in the character creation machine, um, he was a skeleton. Right, yeah. We'll hang you right over the side of this ship with it. Um, it's like really... 
undead are like really shunned. Mm. Um, so you can only like interact with people as an undead if you're like wearing a helmet or glamoured. Um, Assuming that that's a thing, it's pretty generic magic stuff. Um, I don't know if glamour is a thing. Okay. Um, but he has a special helmet that only he can wear because nobody starts with a helmet here. Yeah. So the undead character had to start with a helmet because so he has like a unique helmet to make the game playable. Right. Um. Gotcha. And you can learn more about that unique helmet if you like have them in your party. Okay. But I have taken Lone Wolf, and so I have no interest in that. Right. Um, but if you want me to tell tell you about his helmet, I can. Nah, I'll leave it for people who are playing it on their own. Okay. Um, Magister Paid says you fair and okay so far. Um... Are you talking separately to me, or are you listening to my conversation? I'm listening to your conversation. I can actually even see okay. the options you mouse over. You're mousing over four right now. Now three. Right. Um, That's a pretty smart mechanic, especially for like playing with more than one person. Sure. Do you do you want me to pick any option in particular? No. Knock yourself out. Okay, because I almost always pick number four. The collar of his uniform and chuckles. <laughs> yeah. Sorry you're upset, ma'am, but we all wear what we wear for a reason. You head on in now. Williams will get you shorted fast. Get you shorted. Cool. Oops. Standing at the center of the room, you spot a sorcerer haughtily eyeing a pair of nervous looking magisters. They keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. Oh, God. So you admit it, then? You murdered that poor fella? Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Her name is Wendigo. She turns her head. And looks <laughs> yeah, her name is Wendigo, yeah. <laughs> there are others whose lives must end. Good God. The woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. I don't want to tell the woman I stand by her. I'll use her temporarily. I'm afraid I always perform my part solo. Do she reaches for her collar and simply removes it. Oh. I'm just yeah, she's not supposed to be able to do that. Yeah. Subdue her, man, quickly. If she casts source, the void worker will come. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Oh man. Precisely. <laughs> Don't you love reading fantasy fiction? <laughs> and and there's just like about a hundred new words every page. Well yeah, for sure. You'll learn a lot more about Source, I promise. Yeah. Got to get out of here. It's is it a little odd that like there's like a normal lady voice coming out of a lizard voice? Oh, out of a lizard's voice box? Yeah, I guess that's true. Like when I, I see really when I see like an eight foot tall scaled humanoid with frills and a tail, I don't exactly imagine Laura Bailey, you know? I guess I get it. Three gold. Oh, hey. Sweet. What up? Um, you might want to check this uh, check this place out. Some chest that I have open. Shield, shiv, and two-hander. Nice. Uh, I'll take this, I guess. And I have a shiv, but I have a I'll pocket knife. These appear to be yeah. totally identical. We can make a shiv. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Uh, we can go up whenever you're ready. These guys are empty, like I suspected. Alright, cool. I'm ready.
Are you coming up? There you are. Um, so there's a couple places that we can go. We can try and calm this dog down. Source sound. You can't understand it. Yeah. If you had the pet pal, you could have a meaningful conversation. So there is, if you want to turn off achievements, mm -hmm. there is a cheat built into the game where you can get pet pal for free. Okay. I'm not sure if that's something that you're like into. But... No, I'll just calm this dog in my own special way. Oh god. I will say that I've never succeeded in not having to fight this dog. You can't backstab a dog. And you've electrified him because he's been rained on? Uh, I believe so, yes. Cool. <laughs> Mosquito swarm. Yeah. Nice. Um, that's if you have, if you give your little dude a blood infusion. That makes sense. So he gets like curse, like meat magic. Yeah, he gets um, he gets necromancy powers. Word. Orange juice and a rain scroll. I will let you have those. I will check the chest. I can learn how to cast rain pretty soon, I think. There's a wand and a bow in here. A wand, I'll take. And then there's just some gold in there. I can just pocket that. Yeah, you can dual wield wands in this game. Neat. Um, so if you go if you go through that bottom area, if you go back through, um, you'll find a bunch of people passed out. Okay. Um, like a bunch of the like origin characters. Oh yeah. And then, but but Fane is missing. Conspicuously so. And if you come over here, he's just sitting here reading his book still. <laughs> Word. But he's not hold. He's not hiding his identity anymore. Because he, he doesn't have to. He's a skeleton now. I like that. I appreciate the hustle. Cool. Yeah. Fane is the... I like Fane a lot. Fane, I, I picked Fane to be my first, like, player character. Hmm. A Kraken? Are you, <laughs> are you dead ass? And then there's some guys over here. Voidlings. Oh, they're viscous. They are indeed viscous. Gnarly. Which doesn't really make any sense. Yeah. Kind of got to be fluid. Dude, I read about the coolest shrimp yesterday. The coolest shrimp? Yeah. I was reading about a species of shrimp yesterday, and there's this, like, I was reading about this, like, ancient prehistoric mega shrimp. It's called, like, Anoma locaris. And it just means unusual okay. shrimp in Latin. That's its name. Whoa. And it's it's like the first known apex predator. Really? Yeah. It just like before before the dinosaurs, sometime in the Cambrian era, was just this shrimp just going nuts and, and being the first apex predator. You know That's insane. Yeah. 
Like, you hear me say I, I heard about the raddest, craziest fucking shrimp yesterday. And you'd think that that was a weird thing to say, but... I mean, I think it's still kind of weird to say, but... Yeah. I did not mean to electrify myself. I like that it stays as like a... Uh, like a status effect. It is a status effect. It's the status effect of stun. Ah. Yeah, because stun doesn't actually... Like, you can't actually just be stunned. But you can be, like, electrified. Yeah. Ah, oh, the fire has gone out. I feel like I've kind of got my work cut out for me. I've got most of a sword here. <laughs> oh, I'm nice and warm, though. I'm up here right next to this Kraken tentacle, and it occurs to me I have no idea what I should do about it. I don't know if there's anything we can do about it. The flag is telling us to go this way, but... Oh, I... fuck. I'm the one controlling. You good. You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? I said that we'd go back down. <laughs> Do we have to? Um, we don't have to. Okay. Let's not do that, then. Okay. I vote for no survivors. Oh, I think it's too late. Damn. I can we can load like an auto save. Maybe we can go downstairs and kill them. Oh my god. I'll comfort myself in that way. Oh man, there's a Oops. lot of guys. I did not mean to walk over here. Beardless bugs. I feel like this is meant to be window shopping, you know? It is. Like, the game's like, hey, don't you want these guys in your party for your lawful good playthrough? <laughs> Are we gonna go chaotic evil or something? Yeah. I was on That's why I shot that dog. <laughs> I faced worse. Thanks for the encourage, sister. <laughs> Oh man, this this guy sounds like Snagglepuss. What's a what's Snagglepuss? He's like a Hanna Barbera cartoon character. I see. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's a Kraken. Oh, the budget went out. <laughs> and then the nameless blobs wearing cloaks that they didn't have, so we don't have to... <laughs> we don't have to animate a bunch of different ones for... 
who you rescued and who you didn't. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Oriban. Kiss. Kiss. Just wouldn't it be funny if if this stuffy old man signed his letters with a bunch of X's and O's? Kisses and hugs. Kisses and hugs. Send my love to your wife. I judge on him. Judge on her, ooh ooh. <laughs> ooh ooh. Alright, that's the tutorial level then. That's the tutorial level. And now for the second tutorial. Yeah. I love I love when RPGs do this. I love when it's like, all right, you learn how to play the game. Time to learn how to play the game. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be an awesome place to pause it, because I need to go say hi to my wife. Okay, absolutely. Uh, I'm an Alfred, and who are you? I'm Caitlin. Yeah, and this has been Divinity 2 Original Sin. Thank you for watching this uh, extra long start episode. Bye. Bye.